Yo, what's up everybody? Back here with Loop here. This is gonna be episode eight. Last episode. We we pushed it close. Pushed it close. Um The Priestess, I believe, was the last one we fought. And I thought I thought we were done. I thought we were done, but we had that res that I completely forgot about. That came in clutch in the second half. And we did it. This time we're gonna go. I don't know if we should start chapter 3 right off the bat with the rogue and just call it, but let me see. We do want the road lanterns because, um, what was it? There was something. I don't remember what it was, but I could have read, could have read something that you get like 5% damage for being next to a road lantern. So we're gonna take out the ruins or clutch. That that's what gave us all that that good gear. So we're gonna take out um Anger of Oblivion. We're already at 12 cards max. I think we got rid of the treasure chest. The treasure chest is not really that worth it anymore since we have the ruins. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna put the road lantern. And we'll try playing with the rogue, see how see how it plays. Number of trophies to exchange for rewards in the camp. Okay, so we can't place a shield as a rogue. So that's just a waste already. What do the slimes give us? The slimes give us... Big slime, so... We can throw defense and then drop our attack. ruins anywhere close to here because that's what messed us up so we'll place it we'll start the ruins a little bit farther that way we don't have that issue last time where we had them sniping us we'll start our treasury up there we'll save our rocks for now so Did we just get like all that gear because of how much uh, enemies we killed? A guitar, crit, crit damage chance, boots. See, I just don't know how we're gonna survive if we don't have any anything to heal us unless our evasion can get so hot. Well, actually we have vampirism. Where did we get that from? I'm not sure. Put a patch of grass there. Alright, where do we want to start some building? We want to put a road lantern there, cover some moss, put a spider there. Since they don't stack, we could put another road lantern there. That way we got this whole path will be 5% damage buff. Yeah, so every time we kill an ad, we get something thrown in our little pouch. And then I guess when we get to the uh, to the camp, we kind of dump our gear and we see what we find that's new, essentially. So I guess we keep that 5% vampirism buff. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see. Put a vampire mansion there. He ran away. Mm, 
where can we line that up? We actually don't have, we can't really stack. Unless we go this way, we can stack a lot of uh, thunder. But we get more bang for our buck if we do it this way. But we can only do three total. We'll do that for now. Now that vampirism we have isn't really helping that much. It's like what? I didn't see how much HP we heal, but it looked like it was very little. Mm. I'll just leave it there for now. Treasury. Give you a patch of grass. More rocks. Eh. Yeah. We're losing so much HP. We're not regening anything. So we actually don't get no drops until we make it to the campfire. Um, critical damage evasion, put that on. What's our evasion at right now? 11%. Not a fan of the rug. <laughs> Not a fan. Go back to the warrior. Yeah, cause not having any way to heal ourselves. Maybe it's better late game and like maybe the potions are better and you have more potions and why not? Right now it does not seem like it's it seems way harder than what it needs to be all right um yeah this one kind of sucks if we had our campfire here that would be so good or somewhere in this line so we could line up our lightning and cover so much coverage but here we only have two tiles or two tiles this way the ruins there. Yeah, so on chapter 3 we get two debuffs now. I guess we'll play some spiders. Um, we could put a road lantern here, so we'll put some spiders around that area. There, there. And their own little piece of grass. And we'll just leave that, that for now. There's our road lantern. Kill these two worms. Let me clutch right away. And we got him. Yeah, the ruins are like, I feel like it's almost cheating if we get a kill. That took a lot of damage.
Will I survive three spiders? I don't think I will. Hold down for now. Put a piece of farm field here. Place our beacon. Yeah, that's all we can do for now. Give us something good. Level four armor. And level four sword. Maybe I should put one storm temple there, help us with all those spiders. See what that buff was. So we get a oh, spider web, so we get 20% attack speed minus. We have another ruins. What if we put you there? Vampirism shield. Um, yeah, we'll just keep what we got. On. Level six weapon and an antique shelf. What do we have here? Um, should we save our resources, or should we get the extra twenty percent? damage with their defense I think since we're such early in this loop I think this is better because we have a lot more runs to make and if we could at least take out as much resources as possible that's our best bet we'll drop a beacon here for that little spider area get another little piece of grass We'll just complete the treasury with that. Another vampirism. Where could we use a heal? Probably right here after the spiders. So we'll we'll kind of just drop villages around that way. We have like little checkpoints to heal us. This beacon, we'll place that there. I don't know if I will ruin my run if I drop a vampire mansion there and I already have to try to fight the four. Uh, the vampire and his little villagers especially after I just kill the spiders I don't know if it'd be better to place it here um I'll wait till I have an oblivion I'll drop another village um, here I guess Or vampirism shield. Alright, 
Alright, that's three chances of uh for some good gear. That's one. That's two. Oh yeah. Let's see. Um your damage attack speed region for vampirism. Not gonna keep what we got. I'll say we're safe to put a vampire mansion. Hopefully it's not a mistake. Take some rocks because we're just getting too much stuff. I was saving it for a treasury, but we haven't gotten one yet. Oh, there you go. Let's delete that now. Place another storm temple. Yeah, I think I'll start stacking storm temples to help us with the uh the fight. The fight against the boss. Vampires and Shion. Another ruins, we'll place it. We'll just connect it. A beacon there. Boss was hitting me for like 80 or well, the quest one. Mm, attack speed, regen, lower. I'm gonna say this one's better. It's hitting me for so much that this did. past our campfire and we're already at under 25 this goblin camp has got to go I think ruined our uh, our HP because we're only gonna have a 50 heal once we hit there 85 heal now Oh, you can get the gift of blood. We'll see what this one does. And we're gonna put a patch of grass. Drop another village. I think we might need one. Since we lose so much HP right here, I'll be better just to have one here. Do I lose all my vampires or no? I'll just swap it because it's the better piece. Gen, pure damage. One thing we haven't been getting is the treasuries, though. This run.
Alright, um, this is gonna be an issue right here. And I don't know if there's anything we can do, but just hope that we can kill us before they kill us. Wasted all three of our HP uh, health pots. Um, I think that's better because that gives us that regen we are that we need. Get a little heal. Another little heal. Should be fine for the rest of the run. Yeah, our HP is pretty much, we're still gaining HP. Our regens is higher than what we're losing. We'll drop another village. I'll drop one. I think we have to drop it maybe. I think we'll just drop it here. So they do jack your gear because I just lost my ring. Or do they take it off? Or do they re roll it? I don't know, they do something. <laughs> I need this to become the quartz lander already. If I get that 155 hue or whatever it is. I looked away for like a split section and we were dead. Alright. Bandit camps are an issue. That's what's ruining us. Not the bandits, the goblins. So what if hmm. Can't build that, we need one more. Let's actually give. Is that gonna quit me out the game? No. We'll give the rogue one more chance. We'll try it. Maybe I didn't give it a fair assessment. So we start off with five vampirism. So we get all this gear. I guess we'll start a treasury over here. We will place a road lantern here because we'll put ruins along this. Some 
hard before we lose things. The sooner we could get a ruin, the better off we'll be. Storm Temple. We could put four total right there with the boss. I'll drop a spider there. A beacon for the boss. I would like to see how we could get our evasion, like if that's really gonna... That's really gonna carry us. Drop a road lantern. I don't know where the goblins are gonna come out of. Let's see, a little four sword. Your damage, attack speed, I think we just replace it for the one that's not giving us any stats. Um, we'll drop a spider there and there. Can't place that. So since they're coming out there, we'll put that there. I really dislike fighting the goblins. They do so much damage, they attack so fast. Put a village... ...before the base. Another lightning. Refresh ruins. Place it there. What do we have? Swap that. Swap that. Nothing. Nothing really. Uh, I'm gonna start placing these beacons. Put one there. Put one there. Maybe a patch of grass. Point five percent chance. <laughs> do we do we try this? Is it possible we can one shot the boss if we hit that that zero point five percent chance? We need a camp. Mm, 
start placing some rocks up there. Do we escape or do we survive the scarecrow? I think we get out because we do need this uh, metamorphous rock to um, create something. Yeah, I'm not too big a fan of the road. I feel like. Or maybe we've just been getting bad luck with it. Intel sensor. We'll build you here. So, here's what we know so far. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories. And it doesn't say it doesn't stay this it doesn't stay the same for long. Nothing is stable. But that's not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything. As we keep notes of your expeditions, the pieces are starting to form a bigger picture. It would be much easier if everything was so shapeless. Remember, all knowledgeable is priceless. All knowledge is priceless. So please share it with us, and together we'll decide how to use it best. Encyclopedia. So. So this is pretty much just gonna show us what we already know. So we got three more bosses then. That wasn't worth building. Unlocks the river card. This is the Lundberg Jack's domain. Unlocks the forest and the thicket. The library. Hmm. Watchtower. Watchtower seems pretty cool. Have a little, or have ourselves an archer to help us with the ads. I don't know what a crypt does. All right. Um. So we got the desert arsenal. So item quality is lower by 15%. We'll see what that does. What's the sand? Mm, let me see. We need to... What are we going to build? Do we go with the forest? Because this might give us a new character or the war camp. So we need one more um, metamorphosis. Is that what that's called? Yeah. And we get the metamorphosis from... doesn't say it just says produce the map tiles when they get transformed so we'll just try doing another little rogue run and then escape once we have it so what does this do place this there we'll see what we get did we always have this ring slot or did we just unlock it right now I can't remember just got it because I did not remember any amulet stuff like that. Alright, 
Alrighty, we'll place a spider there. Grass. We'll leave this open for a tower. What? What's up with my HP? What am I using that's giving me that shield? Oh, that, that amulet. I get that magic shield. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Maybe that's how we survive as a rogue. Yeah, because if we have super high evasion, I don't know if the evasion stacks with our magic shield. But if we have high evasion with our max, with our magic shield, then they would have to break through that first before they could even touch our HP. Let's see though. But so far, I haven't seen a dodge, but I haven't been looking for it either. Better that. Um. These are better. So better boots. I didn't see any dodges with that. We'll drop our first ruins there. Ah. I should, probably should have placed it a little farther back. That way we could uh, get it before the day starts. I think this is better just because they have to break through so much more HP. We will place a beacon here. Grass. Do they have to break through that every um? Oh, what's the word? Every time we get into a fight. Oh yeah, so every fight we get into, they have to break. They have to re-break through it. Not beginning anything in place, it's just grass. But we have nowhere to put the grass. I honestly did not like putting the vampire mansions. <laughs> there you go. Our first village, we'll put the village. Drop it here to help us, just in case we need that little extra HP. Better boots, better weapon, better amulet. Um, I think that's pretty much all we can do. Spiders do hit pretty hard. I fought a vampire. Yeah, see, that's why I hate fighting the vampires, because they spawn the bats. And the bats don't play. Do I pick Marauder? Or do I pa deposit resources? Feels like the rogue is almost like a farmer. Because everything we get is just like resource flies. Can't put 
grass there. I'm hoping we get another uh, trophy. Treasury, I mean. Because we're losing grass. I don't know where to put the grass. I guess it works if we put it next to that, but... Oops. Oops. HP. Yeah, that 15% reduce uh, quality, you could definitely tell. Look at the evasion. Change out that sword. I think it's like two more. Alright, do we survive the spiders? We don't even have a metamorphosis. Alright, I think we back out because we will not survive the vampires because they will spawn bats. But we didn't get what we needed to farm. Um, to farm, to build the, um, the library. I don't know, the forest. Yeah, so we get bonus resources. So it is worth farming even on the higher tier. We get more. We get more stuff. We'll drop the arsenal. I feel like the game always makes a good spot for the beacon. Put one spider there. Swap that, that, put some boots on, and change that weapon. Lantern there. Honestly, I might get rid of the vampire mansion. I don't even like placing that tile or card or whatever. for now. Grass, grass, another beacon. There. Because we'll put some spiders. Blacksmith's hammer. That's better, better. No better weapons. Yeah, 
uh, spiders do hit hard. Some weapon upgrades, so hopefully after this loop we get some upgrades for weapons. A chest piece. See, I don't even know if we want to get rid of our evasion. It's like our, I think our go-to stat. It's a rogue. boots and I'm gonna try to play with the our, um, our evasion and see how high we can get it up and see if that's worth I'm hoping we get another treasury but it doesn't seem like we are anytime soon drop one vampire up there he escaped We got one kill, one escape. No village yet, and we've just been getting weed farms. Okay, we're gonna fight some bats. See, last round I didn't even see what the gift of blood actually did. Like, I didn't see no effects pop up. At this point, I feel like I want to get rid of the village because we never get the actual village part, we just get the wheat. Some evasion, but we gain more. Do we have enough to complete this treasury? Another road lantern. speed. I think we get rid of uh, this. I think we just go for the fire magic shield. Mm. We lose 4% evasion but we gain a lot of damage. These boots are better. There's our village. Um, we'll place you here. I didn't realize we had a village down here on the bot. I hope we can complete this treasury before we have to retreat. That'd be ideal. I'll drop another 
another village. There. Three goblins. That's gonna hurt us. Yeah, this is just hitting us for 30, 30, 37, 27. He took 400 HP. Argo hits pretty hard too, 40s? But he hits slow. Drop another village. Do we do it? <laughs> nah. Drop a beacon. I guess it really doesn't matter. There. We'll drop a road lantern. Here. I wasn't paying attention. We had a level five armor. Mm. Is this better? No. All right, we're trying to push it as far as we can. Both of them escaped. One escaped. We're good until we hit the, um, the goblins. Unless we fight a vampire. This evasion. I think it might worth lo losing some evasion since we get pure damage, attack speed, and crit damage chance. Yeah, he ran. <laughs> Run. Alright, let's see. 3 HP heal for every kill. Lowers the quality of items received on the camp top by 3 while increasing the quality of exchange for trophies. I think this is only good assuming if we're gonna make it out, but I don't think we're gonna- there's no way we're making it out. So I guess we just go with the HP and then we make it out because we got that extra little bonus. Place that there. We get less, but we get that damage to all, which will help us because all we're fighting is like three plus four enemies. Or, yeah. We'll just swap out for that. No, because of this. Our evasion. This amulet's pretty good, but we lose that damage to all. swap out that because that buys us an extra two maybe three hits two hits maybe but I think what we I think the damage to all is a little bit more help useful
Scarecrow's actually hit pretty hard. I think this is better. The rogue actually does seem like he's putting in some work. When I get that critical hit. It's only when I get the critical hit though. Drop another vampire ranch in there. Because the critical hits are. They hit pretty hard. Drop one runes there. Drop a spider there. Storm Temple. Nope. Where do we have an issue? What if I put it there? Beacon. Where do we not have coverage? Looks like we cover pretty much everywhere. Let's drop one there. I actually do like the rogue, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. We're just having a rough uh, little beginning. Alright, since I have so much of these pieces, am I going to get some higher quality gear? Yes. Um, about time we get some good gear. <laughs> so we'll put that right there for now. Are these boots better? We get the better evasion, we get the better damage to all. And we get an evasion, evasion bonus. Yes. Weapon. Um, doesn't matter. We have trash weapons. This does less damage than our basic Gladys. But we get damage to all and critical damage. What's our critical chance at? 16%? 16%? 16%? Let's take that chance. Our magic amulet. Um, put this one. For our armor. Yes. What's our evasion at? 36%? Against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy after losing 20% of your max HP. For each missing 10. Hmm. This could come in clutch. Two seconds of just straight dodging if I'm like for the boss, for example. This could uh this could win me a fight. I want to drop a village up here, but I do not want to deal with uh, the vampire and its little minions. Try it, right? I 
feel like we're pretty well off right now that we're dodging a lot. We're hitting hard. Finally get another treasury. Road Lantern to help with. Where do we get a lot of enemies that we... Because this goblin's only spawning one. I'll be down here with this goblin. That way we don't get overwhelmed by those dudes. Yeah, I see here at this tile we just fight one every single time. That's alright. I hate these dudes. He took my armor. I don't want to get rid of my oblivions because I don't know if I'm going to need it for the boss. Otherwise, I'd get rid of all the bandit camps because those dudes ruin my... They ruin my chest piece. That's what's kind of on the lower end. I don't think anything we got is better than what we... Mm, yes. That's it. Just our amulet. We could drop another ruins. Drop one here. Treasury. Put one there. Complete that one. Nope. Anywhere to place a beacon that we're not getting buffed? Probably here. looking pretty solid we just gotta keep placing more items so we get the boss to spawn so I'm just trying to drop things place another storm there See, this is what's ruining me. <laughs> wow. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of these goblins, otherwise, we're not. That's a waste. Because it was the next day, so we still gotta fight the goblin. We're pushing it. We should be fine. Nope. We should have backed out. There isn't so much, dude. It's because of these dudes. We were, I forgot completely about these guys. Alright, 
before I end this episode, I'm getting rid of... Where you at? You guys. These guys ruin everything. Everything. But yeah, um, we could call it there. This episode's a little bit longer than what I would have liked it to because I, I didn't think we would actually make it that far in that last run. But we made it that far just to die when... We should have just backed out, but I didn't think, I thought we would have been fine, but I completely forgot them about those archers. But, yep, I'll call it right there, so I'll catch y'all later. Peace.